Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Hayden Gallup and welcome to the channel. All right, so what is going on guys? Um, Before I get into this tutorial, I just wanna say thank you so much for the amazing support on the last tutorial. Um, I mean, the amount of attention that tutorial has gotten has been unreal um, and it really has just made my day seeing how much growth this channel has had over the past couple weeks and just getting even one subscriber or one new like on a video it really just makes my day and i really 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 appreciate it guys and it just makes making these tutorials so much more rewarding so Thank you guys so much and let's go ahead and get right into this. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make that clean little intro that you guys just saw at the beginning of this video where you've got the logo kind of revealing itself and your name kind of popping in there. It just looks very, very clean and it's very, very easy to make. It only took me about 10 minutes max to make that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my composition and make a new composition. And if you guys want to go ahead and just pause the video right here and copy down the settings onto your composition settings okay and once you've done that i'm going to go ahead and just click okay and right here we've got our new composition and uh yeah let's go ahead and get right into this thing so i'm going to go ahead and import my logo over and i'm going to go to work logo work logo logo ai perfect and sweet so i've got my logo in here i'm going to drag it into the timeline and let's go ahead and scale this thing down a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my corner, hold shift so that way it scales proportionally because if you don't hold down shift, you're gonna get all of this and it just won't look nice. So always hold down shift when you're scaling stuff, just makes it proportional and it looks better. So there we go. I'm it's kind of just eyeballing it. It's personal preference if you guys want to at this point and make it as small or as large as you guys want to. Depends on what you want, but uh, usually smaller I feel like looks better for this particular one but uh yeah that looks about like a good size so i'm gonna go ahead and just press s on my logo make sure you clicked on it press s and i'm gonna set a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch so we dropped a keyframe on our timeline i'm gonna go about let's say i think like nine seconds ahead and i'm gonna scale this up a little bit let's go about uh 23 23 is good and then I'm gonna go a little bit more ahead. So I'm gonna go to about 18 seconds here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that keyframe at the beginning and I'm gonna press the Command C, Command V to paste that keyframe. Or if you're on Windows, Control C, Control V to paste this keyframe. And so now we've kind of got this little popping effect right there. Kind of looks very nice. I think we wanna scale this up a little bit more though just so it gives more of a pop toward it. So I'm gonna go to about 20, 26 awesome so let me go ahead and just move this closer a little bit just to give them a little bit more speed if you guys want to make them uh this a little bit shorter or if you guys want to make this longer this little animation right here you just move these keyframes either shorter for faster or closer together for um a uh, faster animation or further apart for a slower one so yeah that looks good awesome so i'm going to go ahead and add some motion blur to this so i'm going to click right here Right, enable motion blur and click right here to add it to this layer. So now we've got a little bit of motion blur going there. And now we're gonna go ahead and also, easy, easy, easy. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag over and select all my keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, awesome. That's gonna help that with a bouncing effect right there. Awesome, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just add our little Reveal. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to my mask. I'm going to click over here and just hold down to grab my lips tool. And there we go. I'm going to go to go ahead and click on your, make sure your layer selected. Go to the center of your layer. Doesn't have to be perfect. Right there is good. And then I'm going to hold down command and shift at the same time and just drag out to my layers revealed. Or my logo is revealed. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop down my mask one options. And we're gonna go ahead and make this expansion, mask expansion negative. So just drag until your logo is all the way gone. Um, perfect, awesome. So now my logo is completely gone. Once you've done that or you've gotten rid of your logo, just go ahead and drop a keyframe and then go to the where your logo scales up. So right there. 
and we're gonna set this to zero. Awesome, so now I'm gonna go ahead and also easy ease this as well, right click, keyframe assistant, and easy ease. And now we've got this. Awesome, it looks like a really nice animation right there. Okay, this is now just a little bit too fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and move these apart just a tad bit. So like right there, and let's go drag this a bit further. Awesome. That looked actually really cool. So now we've got this nice little reveal right here. I'm gonna also add some feathering to this mask as well. Let's go up a little bit just to soften up the edges so that way it makes it look a little bit cleaner, I feel like. Let's go to about 33. This is again, personal preference, whatever you feel is best. If you guys don't want softer edges, then don't do that. If you do, then add feathering. Um, but yeah, there we go. So let me just render this out. Actually, I'm gonna drop my resolution a little bit. So let's just get a half. Apologize if you guys hear my computer fan in the background at any point, uh, it's just because of the rendering. Um, awesome, so that looks really cool. You've got that very nice reveal here. So let's go ahead and go ahead and just get this thing out of our scene. So I'm gonna leave it in here for about, let's go about 48. I'm gonna set another keyframe for scaling, go about a couple seconds or a couple frames ahead and just drop this down to zero completely. Awesome, so now we've got the logo part of our animation done. And we've got a really nice, you know, logo drop in there. Looks really clean right there. Awesome, I actually really like that. Looks very cool. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go ahead and add our text into the uh, animation. So the way we're gonna do that is I'm gonna go up to my text tool and I'm just gonna go ahead and type in my name. Hayden Gallup. Awesome. So now I've got my name in there. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I turn off my caps lock so that way I can see the scene. And we're gonna wanna make sure the anchor point is in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drop down menu, transform, and just try to line this up with the two center points the best I can. So we've got it about right there. Perfect. And now I'm gonna go to my line over here, click the middle one, Click this one, make sure it's aligned layers to composition. So now it's in the complete middle of our composition. Awesome. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make sure it's on our starting keyframe right down here. I'm gonna go ahead and click, move this up a little bit, however big you guys want it. The bigger the better I feel like this animation looks. So let's go about 390, awesome. Click the scale. And then we're gonna go out a little bit. So let's go about here and drop this back down to 100. Sweet, awesome, awesome. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and also set an opacity keyframe as well. So drag this down to 0%, so that way it's completely gone, your uh, name. Go ahead and set another keyframe. And let's go ahead and go up a little bit more. So I'm feeling like here, to that keyframe right there. Go up to 100. Awesome, so let's go ahead and just preview this really quickly. I'm also gonna add some motion blur as well, forgot to do that. Motion blur is very important to making this look nice. Awesome, so let's just go ahead and make sure that my logo is completely gone before I feel like this comes in fully. Mm, one second. Let's just see really quickly. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and easy ease these as well. So right click on them and uh, easy ease to your uh, keyframes. Actually perfect, that looks great. So yeah, now you've got this cool little animation right there and let's go ahead and add some opacity fade as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop another keyframe and go a little bit ahead. Let's go, let's make it a little bit longer. So let's go about three, three seconds, it's perfect and drop it. So that way we've got a very nice slow drop. Awesome, so now we've got a really like nice clean animation guys uh, just a very nice awesome quick title sequence uh, Looks very cool. You know, what's also really cool about this as well is that You can also add this to videos uh, So if you're doing like a vlog or something like that or even in like a, a short film or something I don't know <laughs> but uh you can add this to videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, oh Let's go ahead and stop that when I do that <laughs> I'm gonna delete this really quickly I'm gonna go ahead and import another uh, little video really quickly. So this is uh, a video I actually uploaded recently of uh, my campus quad in uh, space, or a little edit I made. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys what uh, you can do with this. So 
I'm going to make sure that this is below everything. Turn off sound really quickly. And boom. So you've got a really nice like little title sequence there. It just kind of like works effectively. It's not being shown at all. It's very quick and uh, cool. I feel like it's very clean um, and not very hard to make it all either. So, you know, it just works. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this little tutorial of mine. Uh, if you guys did, please make sure to drop a like on the video. I really, really appreciate it. And also make sure to drop a subscription below because I'm going to be uploading a lot more tutorials in the future and videos as well. Just a bunch of different things on this channel revolving Adobe programs and just other editing programs of that nature. So make sure to be there for that and also leave a comment below if you guys have anything to say regarding this video or have any questions or anything like that and uh yeah this has been hayden and i will see you guys in the next video